can talk about Tox a bit later because uh, Spart um, Twister and Pavel are getting going right here. It's map number one, Furious Heights in the 125 FPS August League. Twister off the spawn. Really early to get those weapons. And laying the mag by 11 seconds. But Sp uh, Pavel is already well positioned. Uh, big rocket jump by Twister, but Pavel knowing exactly what, what he has to do. He's really. He's probably the only player who always knows. Let's, let's scream at the players to go to a private server next game. We should yes. have done that before. Does Pavel know though that Wizard delayed the Mega? Hmm. It's not gonna be oh, up for sure. 8 seconds. And Wizard took that time to pick himself a rail, so well played there right Wizard. Missing though his first shot. I guess the second, so he's got the advantage on damage. And he might be able to push Pavel away from this one. Either that. Or get some damage, he doesn't get the rail! Missing lots, and now, now Pavel's returning fire. Well, a great rail again, and another! Pavel! Wow, that was uh, very impressive. 66%, 4 out of 6 rails uh, hit then, in the Mega Room. Yeah, this seriously good usage of the rail. We still had a plan there, but he was definitely not planning on Pavel to hit those rails and those rockets there. I mean, it. Pavel, after losing to Sparty, is he just completely zoned in? And uh, I, I do he's believe so. he back does, to his he rock seem, stage. He does seem like he, he is in the zone. <laughs> you know, when Pavel's in the zone, he really can be just about anyone in the world. Right, I mean, what's, what can he do here? He's got a couple of rails left. He's still doing fine on control, but look at these shots that he's landing. Pretty much direct rocket. Making Twister a passenger, this has got to be frag number four. A wild Twister with some very interesting positioning here. An almost infinite amounts of armor for Pavel, but uh, no health at all. It's going to be a kill anyway. 4 0. And again, Twister is forced to play defensive with two minutes in the game and four frags down. None of his actions worked yet. And this probably won't as well. Yeah. There's a drop down, Twister may be looking over greedily at that red, but he's not going to get it. Did some good damage, but really at the wrong time. But does he know that Pavel is not as low as he probably does think he is? I'm, I'm sure he's going to be guessing there. That's uh, often you see kills happening at red, and then red and yellow getting sweeped up. It's a good rocket though. But again, Pavel immediately uh, returning fire, and a nice jump over, well timed by Pavel. Vertical rail to clear. Up, and this should be another kill. Yeah, Twister had absolutely nothing, and while Pavel is is just completely rinsing this map, Twister barely looks as if he's. You know, it's an unbalanced game at the moment, unlike what yes. I was expecting. Oh wow! Twister needs a new start. Yeah. He should delay Pavel a lot in here so he can try to spawn at the Mega. Pavel, I don't think does he want to finish the kill. He doesn't need to. Because now he's probably going to be late for the Mega. Hmm. Twister, what's he doing trying to attack at the red? He's gonna lose the mech again. Okay, he got it. Without any damage from Pavel. That is good, but he doesn't need to attack right yet, just yet. He needs to take a couple of minutes to try to get some frags, try to get some good actions. Yeah, exactly. As the, the key is really take your time at the moment. You can He can wait until really the six minute mark or so to try and get the first big fight to go into his hands. But of course, uh, the earlier you can do it, the better. A good action by Twister, he managed to get the red, and now he knows he's out stacking Pavel. Gets the rail as well, so he has all the try of the weapons. Yep. He lost the Mega. He knows that as well, but he, that was something he did just to get that rail. He needed Pavel not to be there, and that rail gives him an advantage. Is he going in? He doesn't need to. But he's probably gonna lose position at the red if he's not fast getting there. Oh, look at this. Well predicted that Pavel will be at the top. This is surely gonna be a kill for Twister. Pavel trying to get away. Twister looking for holes through the... the grates. Is he hidden behind there? I think he is. There's the 50 health bubble up. But uh, Pavel able to get it without taking much damage. Twister's losing a lot of health here. Twister's... Uh, Pavel's just taken the Mega. Twister... Okay, he just lost the red as well. Twister. Wow. Almost good action as well, and now he just... Pretty much lost the game there. He just went from hero to zero in about five yeah. and a half seconds. It's it's Pavel's game to lose now, really. 
Yeah, completely. Oh, one good rail. Surely another one. There it is. And he's basically 200, 200. And Pavel, probably with a, a smile on his face. Cause after, you know, that, that play at Mega really shouldn't have turned out like that. I was expecting Twister C Twister getting a kill almost imminently. And then Pavel turns it around. Is he going to hunt? He can, he can just go through. He could have gone through a teleport and probably picked up a very uh, quick kill. But it's nice that he's delayed him. He's securing himself getting the Mega and the red that he had previously. I'm sure he just to drop down. It's going to be an easy kill after hearing uh, Twister scream like this. More splash damage. Oh, finally, the LG. Is it going to cling on in the end? Boom. And right now, I'm not even expecting Twister. I mean, I don't think Twister can win the game. I am even... I'm just hoping for him to get a frag, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what he really needs. He needs to find something good to bring him onto a, into a, a happy place for map two, which will be Sinister. But it'd be cool to see Sinister. We had a, an amazing game between uh, Pavel and Sparty earlier on, on Sinister. So it's, uh, well, it's been a, the debut, debut really, on the, the 125 FPS uh, Cups. I think it's the first one we've streamed, uh, the first one I streamed this month. Is it? I think so. I don't think I streamed any Sinister last week, but who knows? Who knows? Anyway, Twister trying to make something work here. Red is up. Pavel can bait this one out if he likes. I'm just going to straight up take it anyway. And uh, well, rockets are working. And Twister probably thinking about how he can warm up now rather than uh, fight for the win on uh, Furious Heights. Nice work here by Pavel. 12 to 0. And really locking out Matt 1. 52% rail. Pretty tidy. His uh, LG is spammy. It's standard, I guess. Yep. Twister, I... Look at his accuracy. I play this to the dude. I think I play this map to its, its full extent, but... It'll be very hard. Probably it's definitely in the zone, as we've mentioned. Yeah. We've well, got some nice damage hit from Twister. Can he get any more? He's actually going to be able to secure this road. He doesn't have an LG. I wonder how he's going to be able to play this one out. Look at that, man. He's just going crazy with the mouse trying to get around that corner. Still, he doesn't manage to get killed. No. Probably he's being so slippery. Well, he had 200-200. There was so much he could do there. With the health bubble taken by Twister. Mega is up. Twister needs to make a move on it, I think. And he's going to be able to. But look at this. Pavel returning fire. And now... <laughs> He might even lose out on red. Let's have a look. I think I got one frag versus Pavel in my game. Can Twister even get a frag onto Pavel? <laughs> well, maybe. But um, it's not looking good, and I'm I'm scared for Twister on a Sinister. Do you want to do a bit of QL ranks research on um, Twister oh, no. Sinister? I will. Let's see. We don't need to do it on Furious Heights, because I think we know just to play there. So. Let's play well, on yes, Furious about Heights. 30 games. 30 games, okay. I wonder how many does Pavel have. I think Pavel has more, in fact. I think Pavel has quite a few more. Uh, well, Pavel has about 32. Really? Is that all? Yeah. Didn't Pavel make top three in the Sinister Cup? Yeah. Um, either top three or top two. I, I think he did, yeah. And, um... Well, I was maybe expecting... Maybe he does the evil thing and does the abort games. Twister got a kill, though! He managed to get something for it, but immediately losing out on red. And Pavel just gonna be, uh, running away. He doesn't need to worry about anything. He can just stand still if he wants to. Well, what if he stands still and then he, he gets kicked out. by I, the inactivity? Isn't it two minutes for that? I don't know. Something like that? I, would, I wouldn't risk it, ever. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just tap the mouse from time to time. Oh, oh mini air okay. Maybe that'll make it feel a little bit better going on to Sinister. 
And yeah, Sinister can be played very slowly, so Twister will have time to think on it. Managed to pick up a, a third. But it, after Furious Ice is over, guys, final score is going to be 12 to 3 in favor of Pavel as we go over to the next map. And yeah, what a great start by Pavel. Yeah. And that's Completely. gotta hurt for Twister. Got it. It's gonna be a little crushing on the motivational side of things. Uh, no, I, I, Tw Twister's beaten Pavel in the past, I think. Yeah. I'm yeah, pretty sure, yeah. He's got. He's had some wins from him, and yeah, we've seen someone pointing out uh, nine out of forty-five rounds. Twister hitting very little on uh, the weapon that's so important for him. Well, he doesn't often eat much. He just fires a lot. Mm -hmm. But he's he's definitely not using those angles. No, indeed. Well, he might be using them, just not making them work as well. You know, as we've seen. But uh, Sinister's a map with a lot of angles on it. A, a huge array of uh, rail shots you can be placed anywhere, basically. So Twister's going to have to start hitting them, because I'm pretty sure Pavel's going to be working the angles well. And after hitting pretty much double Twister's uh, percentage on rail, I mean, he's definitely got the better going into map number two. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually asking to see if we can get a private server. I want to get uh, some item timers and make things working. Yeah, I think these guys are going to be going over to, um, yeah, we're going to go over to a private server. So this is inviting. Hmm. Interesting. Where does Sodius live? I mean, I know it's either Norway or Denmark. I don't know why I always confuse those two countries. Isn't he I, Danish? I, mean, I think he's Danish, right? Yeah, then he's from Denmark. Okay. He's Danish. I don't know why, yes. but I always confuse Norway and Denmark. Even though <laughs> they're so far away from each other. <laughs> because the flags are pretty they much could, the same. They could be further. They could be further. Yeah, the the flags are like they're they both have a red background, a white cross, but Norway has a also the blue cross. Yeah, I think. I don't, yeah, my, I just confused them because of that. I peaked in my geography when I was about eight, so I don't really know that stuff anymore. I I only know that because of ESR. Vote now. And I twisted just coming back. So uh, we're going to let him know the news that we're going to go to a price. So can you let him know because I keep getting quake sounds every time I try to talk in game. Okay. So let's make sure that we uh, we get onto that. And uh, of course tomorrow, let's we can talk about tomorrow. We we've got this going on Monday to Thursday basically. So what I have I've looked at the schedule a little bit, but I don't really know much about it. it looks like tomorrow is Kilson, Madball, Demon, Puri, and Bratella. If that's pretty insane. Uh, yeah, but Gilson will probably not going to be here in the afternoon mm -hmm. as he arrives late from work. Yeah, which so is uh, sure when we're gonna see him. But we still have four great players to watch. And uh, Wednesday, ZSX Evil Agent So So This and Etty. That's also going to be very interesting to see how ZSX is going to be able to mix into the group. I I wonder if he's been practicing still. Okay, um... The password is the same as Sparty's last server, if you could let some of the guys uh, know. Yeah. And I'm working my way onto that server right now. And on Thursday we're gonna have Ash, Matrox, Cypher, RZD and Genon. Now, we could have a really insane top 12 lined up for next week. So you guys should better watch out for all that. There are going to be some very, very cool games going on. So, Ince versus Twister, I think that's going to be happening in a bit. Uh, we will oh, get wow. that. Do you want to self-cast that? Yeah, I'll just make me lose, thank you. I need to, I need to, I need to have a rest soon. I self-cast, just for the, the sake of my sanity. Otherwise, I'm just going to be going, Oh my god, the rails! Oh my god, the LG! Oh my god, the rails! Oh my god, the LG! The whole time. Yeah, just say, oh my god, everything. Yeah. This will be a very long OMG. You can, t you can take a 10 minute rest now. <laughs> no, 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 we have games to go to. Okay, so we've got Pavel on the server and uh, Twister's uh, on his way. Sorry, Will Crook, I'm, I, I will, I'll, I'll be nice. <laughs> okay. 
Can you uh, chuck a twister and invite? Yeah, I told, told him the password as well. Groovy, groovy, groovy. Even Sparty arrived before Twister. Get a co-caster for Ints versus Twister. Could do that, I don't know if anyone wants to turn up for 20 or 30 minutes. I, th I think we'll find out if Ishu is here or not soon. Yeah, I'm sure if Ishu's watching then he'll make himself known. <laughs> or how... hmm... Let's get you and Twister to cast <laughs> your games. Yeah. You, you know, Twister's had some casting experience as well. I would like for Twister to join us. Yeah, that would be, it's been a long time since I've casted with Twister. I don't think I've ever watched him get an online tournament. You didn't watch the face it where he was at? Yeah, I watched. Well, I didn't watch, but uh, I, I'm aware. Mm -hmm. But I never watched him cast while he was at home. He's got a lot of. Um, he has a lot of very interesting things to say. Yeah. Uh, is it a, an interesting player and it definitely shows uh, in the way he talks about Quake. But it looks like Twister's readied up, so you want to let them know that we are prepared if uh, they want to go? Yeah, and obviously Twister did a couple of videos about Quake analysis. Check him out, but mm -hmm. we're going live. Let's do it, guys. Pavel versus Twister. Match point for Pavel Three, as we get on to Sinister. Two, the second time we sing it today, I'm enjoying the fact that we're getting a good amount of playtime on it. Um, currently spectating Twister, he's the man who needs to make something happen. We're going to find out soon if that's going to occur. He needs a rail still. Uh, Pavel managed to get it before him. And Pavel's going to get an LG while Twister tries to get the rail. No, Twister didn't get the rail and he heard Pavel getting the LG. So he knows he's on a weapon disadvantage. So he cannot let Pavel get onto the um, long range. Twister's playing it super slowly. He's really, really being careful. I've got a feeling that Pavel might just sting him in the backside real soon and it could all go piton. Pavel just lost on the Mega. What the hell's going on, Nins? I don't, I don't know. Let's ask them because... Pavel, I mean, he's on a big event right now. Twister should just make his way there. But... The good rocket from Pavel tells Twister he's in, he's in trouble if he goes. Oh wow, Pavel actually got away with quite a lot. Twister did not do enough damage. He had a really good advantage going into that fight. Yeah, but that that's choke point hurt. For you. That was a, a sense of false security that Pavel uh, gave Twister just to get the position and then he, Pavel knew that if he eat his rockets he could just take that right away and he's gonna get the Mega. Okay, yeah, so he's got a, a swap on the items this time. Uh, Twister doing a little bit of splash damage, like 10 damage or something. But um, I'm going to switch over to Pavel. He's got a uh, small advantage in armor. Actually, now a much bigger advantage. So really, I'm kind of seeing Pavel getting first blood at the moment. But it looks like neither of these players, are mostly Twister, does not want to slip up. And I, I wonder whether or not his um, really super defensive play is going to be profitable for yeah, him. That's good. Good or if it's like a disaster. Twitter. Twitter just did a Pavel move on to Pavel. And Pavel, even though that. he's very good at defending, is pretty bad at attack. So if Twister keeps playing defensive, this might be this might turn out to be very, very good for him. Yeah. It's going to be one extreme or another. Okay, so he's got that rail going. He gets a second as well. It's going to be a frag soon if he makes it. Fourth! Four. One more here for the kill! He can't quite make it. And a twist. Oh, Ince. Sorry. Pavel is going to get away. Ince isn't playing at the moment. But that was very close. This could be a kill right now, but Pavel's some great defensive rockets, and he's picked up Mega, and the situation turns around. As I said, Pavel is just super comfortable with defending situations like that. And Twister, he should have stick to the plan of playing the senses. Yeah. He should I, have gotten the position much sooner than Pavel. He suddenly decided, okay, I'm going to change things up because I just hit four rails on him. And it didn't work. He, he should have either of... I don't know, not dropped down something or found a different angle. And look at this, Pavel should get a kill onto Twister now. Twister misses a rail, which should really have weakened P uh, Pavel a lot. But uh, it's a Pavel, all about Pavel at the moment. Twister gets a Mega. <laughs> but now he has to do what nobody in this game want, wants to do. He has to chase Pavel. Oh god. He's on this game, on any, any map. 
Okay, well, whatever. You do not want to be the one behind against Pavel. It is the most annoying thing to have to chase this guy down. I never saw X22 play, but I'm pretty sure Pavel does it better. <laughs> Some people say well, I was just a thread online about the Jibo as well. Uh, he used to be very good at uh, playing defensively. Well, Pavel at the moment in this uh, generation of Quake. It's um, one of the better ones. One of the better ones at the moment. And holding that control very sturdily. Looks like he's not in a rush to pick up frags. He's just gonna wait for Twister to slip up again like he uh, did previously and try and uh, profit from that. Twister only wants just a little bit of armor. Just a smidgen, Maybe man. A just more. a tiny bit. Yeah, just give me a green. Green by green, I'll get there. <laughs> Pavel just holding the position. Twister knows if he goes to get the red. There's a rail. You'll get, yeah, you'll get rails. Uh, Pavel backs off. Oh, but Twister misses the jump what? to the rail. And now Twister, he could lose on the red because he, he missed the jump. And oh. he had to take the jump there. Well, I was watching Pavel then. I don't think he's going to realize how late red just got taken. Yeah. This could accidentally work into Twister's favor. We're going to have to see about that. Five minute warning. Oh, well, we are halfway. Only two frags have been played up, paid off. Oh, we got a nicer uh, combo by Twister, but Pavel's a uh, grenade to start things off. Oh, very, very nice. And that's uh, another frag that Twister can't afford to to lose out on. Yeah, and it's only five minutes in. I mean, we just reached the halfway mark, and I mean, there's only three frags, but three frags is three worlds. Three difficult mountains. Yeah. The rest of climb. And th this map can be a little bit like Lost World sometimes in the way that it's hard to. Um, it can be very hard to even pick up a frag at, at some points, depending on how slow both the players wanna wanna play it. So it, it's definitely question marks over whether or not Twist is gonna be able to pick up a frag the way Pavel's playing at the moment. Oh, those had absolutely nothing to work with then. Twister Alves basically suiciding. Oh! Just a great series of defensive plays by Pavel. He managed to get Twister on 10 HP to chase a 200-200 Pavel with only the rail out. Yeah. That was Twist Twister uh, begging Pavel to kill him. Yeah, he was just like, I want a fresh start, just hurry up and uh, get it over with. Well, he's got that fresh start, but let's have a look how he's doing. Twister's got 100, 200. I think he's got a better stack than Pavel now. Maybe not after that Mega's been picked up, but still. And the rail. Something to play. Oh, oh, oh gosh, Twister. It's, uh, it's not looking good at the moment. He should be able to get a yellow. 50 health level through the teleporter. Easy peasy. There's another yellow available if he goes down to the bottom. But it looks like he wants to try and get some position here onto the red. A couple of seconds left. Rail. The second rails. one, that's good. This is a he decent amount of damage. damage. He should go out now. I can three rail. He should, have, should be positioned at the mega now. He's getting ready for it. Pavel's gonna drop. This should be the first kill for Twister. He's going to get it. I think he tried to kill the corpse but missed. And uh, Pavel looking to get a grenade in Twister's head as quickly as he pos possible. But Twister was too fast. And uh, so quickly that he managed to just make it now a two frag game. Yeah, but he's still two frags versus Pavel. With yeah. only three minutes left, Twister cannot let Pavel get stacked now. He knows but that he probably has that yellow, and he doesn't have much else. But got, where is Pavel? I've got, I've got to say, I'm doubting Twister much less now. I mean, we could very possibly see a tiebreaker map. And uh, Pavel making a move onto this Pavel mega. This mega. This is oh wow, but so the rockets are good, and the air rocket at the end! He's gonna make it a one frag game now, Twister making magic happen on Sinister. He really had to, he could not let Pavel got, get away with that. If Pavel got away with that, Mega, that would be game over there. Yeah? You think so? Yeah, and Twister, he already had failed by not eating the rockets when Pavel coming through the door. He managed to get the frag anyway, and he needs to position himself for the red. Yeah, he absolutely does. Oh, he misses oh. some very messy stuff going on there, so he should be able to make a play onto Mega. Pavel's taken it, and look at the damage he's taken! Oh Far my. too much. He didn't have to rush that one up. 
he he just needed one frag to tie the game up. Okay, so he's gonna get red armor. He had like a good this opportunity is, this is to get red maga and kill Pavel, but since he failed a jump, he should have acknowledged that he needed to switch his plans up a little bit. Oh, oh, well, Pavel. Bit of a crazy move going on there, the yellow armor. No, Pavel ended up really losing no health. And here it is going to find him again. Twister was looking for another rocket. But Pavel going to re extend this lead 6 to 3 now. And with uh, 70 seconds to go, it could uh, almost be lights out for Twister in this matchup. Yeah, unless he can do what he did when he got himself three frags in the next 30 seconds. I don't see this. I mean, he, he had a good role earlier. I'm going to go over to Twister's point of view. He's, he's got a stack to play with, but uh, Pavel, he's just playing these angles. Like, okay, I've hit uh, one rail. You're going to turn around, uh, and then I'll be somewhere else hitting you with another one. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. another every rail that Pavel hits. It's really nice uh, um, from Pavel exploiting all of these angles. And surprisingly, it's actually Twister who's being out-railed and, you know, out-angled in a lot of these fights. So 20 seconds to go, it looks like garbage time is about to begin. Twister didn't have much success on map number one, Furious Heights, and looks like even though he played a better game here, Pavel's gonna be able to take the series two maps to zero with another interesting Sinister game that we're seeing, but uh, GG here to Pavel. GG to Pavel indeed. As he played it extremely well, and Twister just could not break the barrier. No, nope, not at all. Uh, the barrier that is Pavel. It's a uh, very, very tough work to get past this player. But it looks like we might be getting uh, Twister versus Sparty next, unless Sparty's disappeared. I don't know. Yeah, where is he? He was in the servers a while ago. Yeah. So, uh, absolutely.